Welcome back to the Ebony Odyssey. My name is Jermaine Go Long, and I am a servant of the Most High God. I appreciate you for coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey. Uh, today I have a real talk uh, based on a video that I saw a couple of days ago by Go Black to Africa. Um, and he was spot on with his analysis of people coming here um, to Africa. Um, and I'll try to show you a little bit of that video. There comes a point in time when you have to realize we are just a different people. People are just going to have an allegiance with their own. You know, I've heard many a times that people come to Africa because they said the picking is there to be taken because Africans don't have a respect for their resources. They're not doing anything with it. So why not come in and take what's theirs? Many see opportunities on the business side of bringing in their ideas, making money from the African people, but they're not, you know, supporting other African businesses. They're staying to their own, going to their supermarkets, going to their restaurants, going to, you know, these different places to where they just segregate themselves. When are we gonna to get to the place to understand this? When are we gonna to stop to take note that if you frequent a foreigner's business, do they come frequent yours? Like this, this pastor down here who has an evil will to do away with people is no different than a person who wants to separate himself from the local people. This is idiotic. Because if you're trying to separate yourself and stay within your own community, that means then that you don't care anything about the others. Pretty much take what's theirs. Um, and one of the things I see is because of the the devaluation of the dollar uh well the african dollar versus the american dollar uh they're not able to do as much and this was the whole reason uh you know i can look at myself for coming here as well you know as a guy had put me on this path and i'm you know wondering where i'm going to go what i'm going to do and uh all of these things came into play to where I would be here. You know, I looked up all of that uh, information and research, you know, well, what is, how strong is the dollar uh, versus the shilling and things of that nature, you know, so I could see what I was getting myself into. And uh, the dollar is very strong at this current moment uh, versus the shilling. And, you know, so me being able to come here, I understood exactly what he was saying, where people come here and they will start a restaurant or start a, a convenience store or start any type of business and they won't hire, um, you know, the local people who live here or they won't employ, uh, you know, uh, just the regular everyday workforce. And I think that is, you know, People are free to do whatever they want, but you come in and you, you are able to take advantage, but you never go and you support the communities and you never go and support the people um, around you. And that's what I think is uh, a problem. I mean, so I agree wholeheartedly uh, with his sentiment. And I'm just thinking, you know, for me going forward, I, I'm here for the community. I'm here to give what I have and, and profit together with the people. I'm not here to take advantage. I'm not here to uh, do things contrary uh, to my nature anyway. Uh, so, you know, if you're coming here, uh, and I'm sorry about the wind, you may hear uh, the additional noise because I, I've chosen to do this outside today and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a wonderful uh, breeze coming off the Indian Ocean, but uh, needless to say, if you're coming to here and you're coming to do something for people, uh, include the people. It, it's you know you it's like you're going into a neighborhood and you're going to build a store, but you don't want to do anything for the people in the neighborhood. Um, you know it's that's one of the saddest things to see you know me being over here and that's just real talk you know that's why i wish you know um uh, that i had more 
you know, people with me so we could do things together. But it's you have to have the right mindset. And uh, the American mindset isn't necessary here. Uh, to be honest, it's not necessary. Uh, I would, wouldn't want someone to come with an American mindset where it's all about me, 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 and miss out on the opportunities here uh, with a community, with, you know, the, the family uh, unit as it is, you know, everybody's looking out for one another, everybody's taking care of one another, and I know we don't get that in America, you know, uh, the most closely related thing, you may get some of it at church, but you may not get it all the way, and so here, you know, you know, it's been a blessing to come here and be welcomed in, uh, you know, knock on wood, you know, God had sent me here, so I, I didn't expect anything bad to happen nothing has happened um, and it's many instances where I haven't done some of the things that I needed to do but it was okay because God took took care of us uh, and so just I don't want to ramble and I want to be straight to the point watching that video and just you know hearing his explanation of you know people coming in and it's, it's pretty much that, that that taking advantage of the situation and not you know allowing others to benefit and I, I guess you know maybe I just missed the point maybe I missed the point on uh, you know when you come to a community but that, that's just my nature so you know it is what it is family but you know for those who are you know tired of the day-to-day -day activity I'm just gonna be blunt if you're tired of the day-to-day -day activity you need to take a break take a break get your passport come and see what you could do because you know God is opening doors and that's ain't for everybody so the people who I'm talking to who understand what I'm saying and God has been tugging on your heart you know take the opportunity to at least come and see now it some places you can go and you can get the Ritz car too and it's everything that you ever wanted it to be in some places it's underdeveloped and it needs help it needs people like you it needs people like me uh, with you know minimal resources to come and change a community if you have the right mindset you can come and do something amazing uh, and because that's what God's calling you to do. He's not calling you to sit there and hoard, you know, your resources and not do anything. Uh, it's like the uh, parable of the talents. Like I say, I'm sorry if the wind is blowing and you hear that a little bit more than you may hear me. Uh, and I'll try to edit it out to make it sound a little bit clear. But, you know, God gave one, one talent, uh, one uh, three talents and one five talents. You know, don't be the person with the one talent who doesn't want to invest, that doesn't want to do anything for anybody else but themselves because they're selfish. You know, you know, that's just my mindset. And so look, let me get up off this rent and just uh, thank you guys for coming along. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for hitting the like button. Please hit it if you haven't. Um, thank you for subscribing. Please share it if you can. Um, I'm, all, I'm halfway uh, to the goal of a thousand, so I really appreciate everybody for coming along, and as always, enjoy the journey.